Hi, I'm Josh Olson, and we're going to talk about madness. If you're talking madness, you have to talk about Nicolas Cage, and you have to talk about Werner Herzog. And as long as you're doing that, you probably ought to talk about this film. This is Bad Lieutenant, colon, Port of Call, New Orleans. Who's that? Please get me out of here. You want me to get wet on account of you? Hey, man, I got on Swiss cotton underpants. I'm gonna drown, sir. Come on, we'll get the time of death from on top. Please! Come on, man. He ain't worth it. You fuck crazy. <laughs> first things first. Whatever you may have heard, whatever you may think, this is not in any way a remake of Abel Ferrara's Bad Lieutenant that starred Harvey Keitel. About the only thing they have in common is a corrupt cop at the center of the story. In fact, Werner Herzog, the director, fought with his producers to change the title, but they wouldn't. Somehow they thought a movie called Bad Lieutenant was gonna be a sure thing at the box office because, you know, the first one made about a million and a half dollars 20 some years ago. When the project was announced, Abel Ferrara was furious, and rightly so. The notion of remaking Bad Lieutenant is ridiculous. But I hope by now he's found out the truth. So, Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans, is an amazing film. Werner Herzog is one of the great filmmakers of all time. Nearly every Herzog film is memorable, and every one is unique. Even the ones that aren't necessarily great. It's hard even to talk about the man's work in, in under two hours, so, so I won't. Let's just stick to this film. Nicolas Cage can be a divisive subject. His later work has certainly been over the top, and some people do hate it. Some people love it. I feel like there are two Nicolas Cages, though. The guy who gives terrific real performances in good movies, and the guy who gives lunatic, over-the-top, and highly entertaining performances in, shall we say, less than salutary films. But in Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans, he marries the two beautifully. He takes his particular brand of batshit to dizzying heights in this film. And in Herzog's hands, you realize that Cage is the closest thing we have in America to Klaus Kinski. The movies that Kinski and Herzog made together are absolutely incredible. And if you haven't seen Herzog's documentary, My Best Fiend, which is about their relationship, drop everything and find it now. It's even more lunatic than Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans, and it's got almost as much gunplay. In Nicolas Cage, Herzog seems to have found a perfect replacement for Kinski. They're an absolutely incredible match, and the film is an indescribable exercise in madness. And whatever you do, don't look at the lizards. Mm -hmm.